Welcome back to this next installment of Shadowrun Returns. I'm Voodoo from iRuinGaming.com, and on our last episode, we had just finished kicking the shit out of a group of Yakuza-sponsored BTL gangers and successfully saving our friend Kylie's cousin. Now, with that accomplished, we returned to the Seamstress Union, where we met with Sam's sister, a Miss Jessica Watts. It turns out, they hated each other. Which, having to deal with an alcoholic nitro fiend, I can't say I blame her all that much. She admitted to still loving him, but because he basically snorted drink and otherwise pissed away their father's insurance policy, she seemed pretty pissed off. At the end of our conversation, she let us know that she was planning on having Sam and her mother uh, buried at the Catholic Church and invited us to come along. Until then, we've got work to do. So with our upcoming mission to help Shannon Halfsky contact the spirit world, we took her four grand and put together a small group of trained individuals including Voodoo and Shannon and a support mage named Alexander Falk and a decker named Kendon, both straight out of the Nephilim network and both about three and a half foot tall. Using a bit more of our Nidian stash, we resupplied our med packs and doc trauma kits and I traveled back to the NTSB warehouse to face whatever challenges come up. You return to the docks to meet Shannon Halfscott. Although the Ripper's latest victim is her brother, Shannon appears cool and professional, a consummate runner by birth, if not by trade. She'll get the job done. Hopefully, one of the harsh spirits in this place can point us toward the Ripper. Now, dealing with tricky spirits can be tricky business, but when they deliver, it's pure platinum. One doesn't have to be an Amerindian shaman to summon a control spirit. Anyone with magic talent can do it, but Shannon seems to have a particular connection with the spirit world. As you approach the gate, you know something's not right. The docks, already strange and uncomfortable at night, trigger the need for caution. Then you see it. The guards are missing, and the gate has been smashed in. Get rid of this screen. Okay. We want to make sure that we have our Uzi in our primary position. It's going to be our best firepower that we can use. Shannon. We want to make sure she keeps alive, but I'm not going to give her anything. He has no med kits. He does have a heal. Uh, but let's give him the drop, drop trauma kit because we definitely want to make sure he stays alive and keep us up. They both have at least one med kit. Let's give him one more, and that'll do it for us. We only have three karma, so we'll hold on to it for now. It's about time you showed up. Looks like we weren't the only ones who wanted to take advantage of the situation. Mercer blocked down the area. My guess is there's something worth a bit of coin left in that warehouse. I wonder if we can see if we can sneak past. No. They're doing regular patrols, and they've locked down the perimeter. So let's move up here and see got a guard at the front this block is off limits and there's uh, a gas leak at the docks no loitering not one of the hired mercs we use our etiquette shadow runner We're not paying you enough buddy especially not once lone star sends a response team Knew they were lying. Told me they jammed all the Lone Star channels. I'm out of here. Save us a little bit of health. Now, I think we're going to approach from this south side here. Going to roll around, get them to pull out from wherever they're at as we approach the door. And here they come. And that is a huge troll. Look at that guy. 
That is a gigantic shotgun. Let's start off with Voodoo, and I'm not sure why we've already lost one AP. It kind of sucks. Let's move her into cover. And we'll haste. It's probably going to be our second best firepower. Our support mage up and let's armor up Voodoo. I mean, we've got to keep her alive. I mean, we could lose anybody else, but if we lose her, the mission's over and we wipe. So let's keep safe. Let's move him up into a little cover on the side. He's got a shot at at least this guy. Looks good damage, 14. Another one, and he goes down. Oh, that's not a shotgun. That is the biggest Uzi I've ever seen in my life. That is gigantic. We'll aim shot. 11. And a little more. Let's see if Kel Kendon here can finish him off. Pretty damn close. But he is out of ammo. go. That's why we have mages with us. Met a boat in his face, took him out. I think there's two more. I think one of them is out of line of sight of us. So let's prep for that. Yeah. Yep, there he comes. Well, they're coming out as piecemeal, so that's good for us. So let's move up a little bit. Awesome how those barriers provide such good cover, but I mean, we'll take it. Just gonna have an overwatch position here, so hopefully he'll move up into our firing range. And we just got that ability, we may as well try it out. A little poke and a hope here. Miss. And let's try our pistol too. And a miss. Luckily, she's not our firepower support. Oh, Alexander missed as well. He's only got a 45% chance, but let's, let's take some shots. We'll call it suppressive fire, if nothing else. 11 damage. Man, what a bastard. Man, we hate those. It's gonna give me one AP though, so... Luckily he missed. One shot. Maybe we can still take him out though. Damn near. We're gonna have to rush this guy. Let's just move up and get him out of the way. Oh, we did not need that. Son of a bitch. Can't use haste. Hmm. All right. Oh, thank you, Shannon. That was a horrible percentage chance, too. A little more cover. This shot, and this should wrap it. This guy's made a very poor life choice. Could move Shannon up since it's the last one. Mana bolt. You know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't go with the mage on this one, because that damage is just pretty good. Five more damage. And five more. He's out of ammo, but I 
think we should be able to finish him off here. And there we go. As soon as the last mark hits the ground, the docks become eerily quiet. Let's pick up our key. Now that gave us four more karma, so we may actually spend that before we go in here. Let's see what we got. Range would be good. We're already at five, though. Or four. I think dodge. We'll go with ranged. I mean, we would like to be able to dodge some more shots, but, I mean, if we can kill them before they can shoot us, then, I mean, that, that's our defense right there. You head inside the dark warehouse with Shannon. Her eyes have that far-off gaze associated with looking into the astral plane. When the world changed, the Native American tribes made a resurgence as well, demanding a place in the New World. They got it. The Shaley Shindy Council now represents 8.6 million American Indians across a multitude of tribes. Get that... Uh, American Indian shamanistic background anyway. They uh, did a religious ceremony called the Ghost Dance, which is one of the big aspects of uh, powers coming back into the Shadowrun world. So we got three guys to kill down here. Let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Move her into cover. It's a little cover anyway. I think we... Let's haste up Voodoo. That'll leave Alexander in a bad spot, but I mean, he's far enough away that it should be okay. Shannon can move up into half cover here. A little mana bolt. And let's move Kendon into cover as well. little more damage. Six on to Alexander. It's not too bad. Miss. Oh, more guys coming out. 99% chance to hit this guy. We're going to try to take him out. He's too close to our main character. Swap weapons. So glad we got that extra weapon. I'm going to use the pistol, because that her spells aren't shit. There's nine damage, and three. Maybe she's just bad all in general. Fifteen from Alexander, not bad. And armor up voodoo. Now I'm tempted to grenade all these guys. It's not enough, not a good enough percentage there. We have this melee guy coming in, so we'll move him down here to support Shannon. Only three. Six on the voodoo. Oh, that hurt. That was a bad hit. And the melee guy's closing on voodoo as well. I think we will frag him now. Should be one kill and damage on with uh, one ability. There we go. A miss, but still good hits. However that works. Twelve more onto the melee guy here. We're gonna haste up. She's already... She's already hasted, but I guess we can give her another one. And that melee guy goes down. Let's go ahead and heal. I think we need to heal Shannon. Or ourself. Let's do Shannon. Get her 9 HP back. 
that shotgun is just a bastard. We gotta keep her as healthy as possible. Couple of weak hits there. Six more on Voodoo. Seven on the Shannon and a loss of two AP, so she's gonna have to skip her round this time. Yes. If I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna reload the main. And let's go for 15 more damage, not too bad. Let's haste Kinden this time. We'll give him three hits. If he moves up, he'll still be in half cover, so let's get in here. Try to take this guy down. Fortunate time to run out of ammo, but thank God that guy missed. So we'll try to get him down this time. He's down, and that leaves one more shot for this shadow runner down here. That should give us enough room to swipe the floor with these guys. Eight damage, could hit Shannon. Very nice. And down for the count. Now, that didn't take us out of combat, so there's got to be some more guys around here somewhere. Start moving toward this door, get reloaded, and uh, make sure that when we uh, open it up that it's uh, we have full turns for everybody. Reload. Six HP back for Voodoo. Now, you can only heal by magic the damage done during the last turn, and that, while it sucks, I mean, it's got to have some balance somewhere, so. Nobody. Now, he's got enough AP to go check this room out, and it's clear. So let's move him back out. There's nothing we can get out of there either, so. Pretty sure there's not going to be anybody in the bathroom up there. So we're just going to start moving down to check out this other set of buildings. Trying to be a little tactical here. I don't want to get pulled into that room piecemeal and getting killed one at a time. We want to bring as much firepower to bear at one time as we can. Try to clear DPS off the field. And that is entirely the opposite of what we wanted to do. Okay. Luckily, nobody came out of the woodwork and started killing us, so... Let's go ahead and haste Voodoo. And you can see how she is wounded, but she doesn't have the red arrow that's pointing down. That means that any damage that she has on her right now cannot be healed. She is at her max that a, ma a mage can supply her with. Okay, so there's two at least in this room. And there's one, oh, there's one right there on the side too. Six on Voodoo. Luckily that shotgun blast missed. And we have an Adept. Man, those guys are fast. She's out of grenades. But he has one. I think that's a good use for that. There you go. 
We were here first, assholes. This is our score. You have picked the wrong warehouse to raid tonight, chummer. How that add up? He may be fast, but he melted. Holy crap. Great hits by Voodoo there. Let's see. We have that pile of trash there that we could actually raise a spirit from, but I think instead... Let's haste herself. Let's summon a, uh, a totem. We're going to summon something. Let's see. Nature or elemental. Let's go nature. Let's see what we get. We got a primeval, which looks like a very, very angry chicken. Stun bolt. Take away some of their AP. One. That's crap. Let's move Mr. Falk up here. Ow. Uh, got grenaded herself. She's down 12 damage right now. Luckily that shotgun missed. He is down for the count. Reload. Couple of hits and kill her up. Let's move her. Uh, let's use the chicken. I'm gonna supply him with max AP. That percentile chance, that was the percentile that he will revolt against the summoner and go against the summoner. So, eight damage from that, and we're going to go up here and peck him to death. One more, buddy. Come on. Have the chicken pick up the flight recorder. <laughs> and there we go, he is pecked to death. That's the last one. Follow me. Oh, it just had to be kids. Holy crap. Now, any movie, anything like that where the scary, you know, summoned demon is a kid, it totally freaks me out. I hate it. I like scary movies, but for some reason, just the kid aspect of it drives me up a wall. We are the innocents who have perished in the flames, choking on smoke as we fell from the sky, crying for our mothers. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. You bring anchors to the art your world, which was once our home. Words may echo through the veil, and sometimes, sometimes we may hear them. Last night this place was filled with a scream that went on and on, drawing us to it. It was a man crying out for a witness as he died. Let's see. The spirit was other. It was not of this place. It had twisted its way through the veil and through the dark to come here. That's pretty interesting. When the other had gone, we returned to our vigil. We found two creatures of flesh. One you would call an elf, unsullied by technology and able to channel the energies of the cosmos. Yet his spirit was corrupted from within. He was dark and twisted, yet not like the other, so we did not flee. The second, we need to be a troll. Ribbons of his essence had been flayed from him, leaving cold machinery behind. Now what they're saying is, that is the troll who has had cybernetic implants uh, put in. The essence that has been flayed from him, that's the essence cost that we were talking about earlier that we have to pay in order to have our um, data jacks put in, cybernetic legs, armoring, all that stuff takes away from your essence. The spirits begin to fade, all but one. Its eyes harden, it takes full measure of you. Now see, that sucks. I knew there was something, a, a third item in this building to find, and we didn't find it, so we didn't get to have a cool, weird ghost conversation with the ghost baby. That sucks. They were with him when he died. She'll be okay. She's a tough chick. 
I don't want that for him. Not what those poor souls have endured. My brother deserves to be free. He is free. What we do now, we do for the living. You're right. This isn't over yet. Damn right, girl. I'm gonna kick some ass. Now, let's go back over to where the body was. Which was... No, it's the wrong way. We're over here. Blood. This is what my uh, brother's friend spirits wanted me to find. It's not much, but it's enough. Let's see, is that enough to target a spell? Wow, we gained eight karma? Nice. Very nice. She can't cast a spell right now when she's so drained, but when she's able, she's going to commune with Bear. <laughs> and, uh... Figure out what the uh, what the spirits can tell her. We're gonna use a little bit more conventional means at our disposal, our, our disposal, to uh, try to figure it out instead of contacting bear or snake or whatever. That was a good run. Lots of uh, karma. Wow, that was great for us for the long term. So we're gonna go ahead and head back. And thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Shadowrun Returns. As always, I'm Voodoo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you saw, and I will see you next time.